Hello everyone and welcome to another Halu Sees It review. Very excited to review uh, this game for you tonight. Abandon All Artichokes, a heartless card game by GameRight. 100% fresh. So, what is this game all about? What comes, so it, it uh, comes in this cool tin that is artichoke shaped. Uh, it's got a nice little, uh, get this open a uh, nice little insert in here that holds all the cards nicely uh, with the rules there on top everything fits in there great uh, it is for two to four players and uh, it is a fantastic game let's go ahead and show you what comes in this tin uh, this grapefruit spoon does not come in the tin and I'll get to that in a moment basically I'm gonna show you here tonight uh, the game, uh, talk about the components, how it plays, some of my thoughts, and you are lucky enough, I'm going to teach you all my uh, secrets of how to prepare an artichoke and how to eat it. Uh, and uh, maybe a lot of you, I don't think it's very commonly uh, used out there or uh, eaten in it's the sense of eating a whole kind of artichoke. So I'm excited to uh, show you that. Stick around uh, at the end of the video for that. So what comes in the game? We have the rules here. Uh, very, very uh, well done rules. Uh, the game is very straightforward. So, you know, it's got a setup, some pictures, how to play, uh, and then, uh, you know, how the game ends. And we have some more information about the different card powers. Uh, in the game as well. So uh, really, really uh, fantastic job here. Uh, the game is by Emma Larkins uh, and illustrations by uh, Bonnie Ping. So very, very nice. Let's talk about the components uh, and the illustrations. So the illustrations here you'll see are, um, we have our artichokes. Um, very, very fun. And uh, I didn't notice this actually the first time, um, but you'll actually know, notice, uh, now that I'm pointing it out to you, uh, that the artichokes have different facial expressions, or at least there's a few different ones. <laughs> and so I like that uh, that little added, uh, you know, change to it, right? Because they're all artichoke cards. Uh, they could have made them all exactly the same but I like that they have some variation to the faces, which is really cool. So we have a bunch of artichoke cards and uh, the back of the cards will match the other cards that you have here. Got lots and lots of cards here then with different um, powers and different abilities that you'll be able to use throughout the game. Um, the game also includes these little uh, reference cards, which are always really, really nice, especially when you're first teaching the game to someone. Uh, the turn guide, the, they are double-sided with kind of the player area, um, which just refers to, you know, if people aren't very uh, used to the terminology, you know, when it says garden row, that's what the garden row means. When it says garden stack, that's what the garden stack means. So very, very well done uh, player cards. Uh, for reference and then we have all these uh, other vegetables and stuff really really cool so how does the game play and uh, the quality of the components here the cards are great they have that nice kind of vinyl finish to them um, great great card quality and again the illustrations are great they're fun um, they remind me you know they're cute they remind me of the kind of sushi go uh, type uh, illustrations uh, but vegetables and so how's the game play set up really really easy you're going to separate you're going to deal out 10 of these artichoke cards to each player and then we just walk through this handy dandy turn guide here and uh, you're going to replenish this garden row so if other players have acquired cards from here you're going to replenish that from the top of the garden deck uh, back up to five cards then you're gonna go through a harvest, and that is you're taking one of these face-up cards from the garden row and adding it um, into your hand. And 
Then you're going to play any number of cards from your hand. So you play a card, you place it in front of you, you're going to resolve its actions, and then you're going to play that face up in your discard pile. Um, you can play as many cards as you can, but you have to fulfill all of its requirements. Uh, so there may be one where you have to play this with two artichokes. If you only have one artichoke, you're not going to be able to play that card. After you've done all the actions that you can, you're going to go ahead and discard any cards left in your hand into your discard. And then you're going to draw five cards from your deck. Now at the beginning of the game, you know you're going to have five artichokes and five artichokes because you have ten of those. So your second draw at the end of your first turn will just be a bunch of artichokes likely. So then, um, basically, uh, as the game progresses though, you're gonna get more and more cards, uh, either artichokes out, we call it composting, you're gonna be able to get rid of your artichokes, or you're going to, I mean, you're doing that and you're also acquiring these other cards. If you ever draw a hand at the end of your turn and there's no artichokes, you declare abandon all artichokes and you are the winner. So what I'd like to do is just kind of show you some of the different uh, powers here, abilities on the cards, uh, give you a feel of the flavor of the game and, and what they do. So again, you're able to acquire one of these from the garden row and then these other cards are going to either help you get rid of artichoke cards uh, from your hand and from your deck, get rid of them. Um, so you're thin thinning it out that way. Uh, or really kind of manipulate your deck, move stuff from your discard to your, uh, you know, the top of your deck or uh, acquire more cards. And so let's just show you some of these. Okay, so we have a beat. And the beat says you and an opponent can each reveal a random card. I really like this one. This one has some tension and some uh, fun to it because you reveal uh, a random card. So you're gonna have to kind of shuffle or, you know, I choose one from theirs, my hand. They choose one from my hand, I choose one from their hand. Uh, and uh, compost both if artichokes. So if we both reveal artichokes, we can get, both of us can get rid of it. Um, but otherwise I have to swap. So if they have an artichoke and I have like a leak, well, I now give them my leak and now I have another artichoke in my deck. Um, it, I really like that one. That's kind of a fun interactive type card with it. The leak, uh, it can be a, maybe viewed as a little mean, um, but you reel the top card of an opponent's deck and put it into your hand or on top of their discard pile. So, you know, as you go through, um, I mean, if it is an artichoke, obviously you're not going to want to add that to your hand, most likely. Um, or um, it can go on their discard pile. So if it is an artichoke, uh, it is taking it out of their draw, uh, next draw, but Anyway, that's the leak. It's pretty cool. We have a pepper. You get to put a card from the discard pile on top of your deck. So you short through your discard pile and be like, oh yeah, I really want to get, you know, utilize this eggplant. Well, I can put that on top of my deck. Uh, compost and artichoke. So basically uh, you get to get rid of an artichoke from your hand. And along with this card, so I get rid of this. It's a one-time kind of thing. And all players pass two cards to the left. So that allows you to get rid of one, and if you have a couple artichokes, uh, we'll just pass those along to the next person, right? Uh, the carrot, very powerful one time uh, as well, uh, as uh, your only play action. So usually you can play as many cards as you can. Uh, the carrot, very powerful. You can only do this on your turn. You can't do anything else. Um, you can compost exactly two artichokes. So you have to have two artichokes, but you get rid of the two artichokes and this card. Very powerful. The corn, uh, you can play this card uh, with an artichoke. So you're not getting rid of it, but you have to have an artichoke to play with it. And then you get to put a card from your garden row, from the garden row on top of your deck, which is nice. Uh, the peas. Uh, you reveal two uh, cards from the garden stack and you get to put one in your discard pile and one in uh, an opponent's. So you're helping yourself, but you're kind of helping some of the other players as well. Uh, the potato, reveal the top card of your deck. 
You get you be you can get rid of it if it's an artichoke, otherwise discard it. So these are the sort of cards that you're adding in there again, helping you uh, get rid of artichokes, manipulate your deck, filling your deck with more uh, different vegetable cards other than the artichokes. So hopefully at some point you draw five cards with no artichokes in it and you are the winner. So very, very fun game. Really, really been enjoying uh, Abandon All Artichokes. Um, now I'm gonna tell you, so that's how I think of the game. The game is fantastic. You should definitely check it out. Um, and that is how Lou sees it. Now let me get to some uh, important discussion on artichokes because I love artichokes. Honestly, um, I have them with my uh, kind of birthday dinner every uh, year because I love artichokes that much. Uh, again, they're kind of a unique thing and a lot of people don't grow up uh, eating artichokes. Uh, but I did and uh, I have come across some uh, good tips uh, and preparing artichokes is actually really, really quite simple but they're really viewed as, I think, kind of fancy or, you know, people are maybe a little bit scared because they don't know actually what to do with them, how to eat them. Because a lot of times, you know, a heartless card game, a lot of times we just, you know, in recipes and things, it calls for artichoke hearts, you know, artichoke hearts on pizza and, and whatever. Um, but I love eating the entire artichoke. Now, obviously, you're not going to eat everything in an artichoke, but this is how you're going to prepare it, okay? Buy it from the store, um, and uh, the first thing you're going to want to do is trim off these edges, the, the pointy ends of these leaves right here. So go ahead with a scissor. You can just go around. You get in between there. Snip, 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 snip. You give your little artichoke a nice haircut, okay? Take off all those ends uh, that are pointy and... Uh, and they're not quite thorns, but they, they can hurt, okay? So we want to go ahead and cut those off. After you've done that, what you're going to want to do is sometimes the stems are really long. And uh, we're going to go ahead and want to cut that so that it's fairly short. So we're going to give them a little cut. And then we want to also cut off this top part. You're not There's no meat uh, on the leaves at this point. So we're going to want to give a good cut right about here. And just with a, I use like a serrated knife, just go ahead and all the way down, cut it off. And then we have a, a nice, uh, more manageable uh, artichoke to work with. And at that point, what we can do is I can now grab the artichoke and you're going to want to spread out all these leaves. You're going to kind of pull it open a little bit. Then you're going to run that under the water. You're going to wash it really, really good. And then you're going to you know, rinse it out tip it over in the sink, let it drain, do that a few times, and your artichoke is gonna be ready to cook. Now, the first thing you wanna do actually before all of this is get a big pot of boiling water. So get a pot on the stove, and I use a pot that has a steaming basket with it, which I'm able to place on top, uh, so it rests in the pot. I can put a lid over it and steam the artichoke. So, Actually, what you want to do is go ahead and get the water boiling uh, and then you can go through these preparations and getting your artichokes ready. I usually cook two artichokes at a time uh, and uh, that it that's about as many as I can kind of fit in that uh, pot anyway. So once that's all ready, uh, your water's boiling, uh, you're going to want to go ahead and you're going to stick the artichokes uh, face down with those leaves open so it's going to collect the steam in there and uh, we go ahead you can put some uh, like lemon juice uh, and some seasoning into the water a little bit that can help uh, add a little more flavor uh, and you're going to cook those for about 20 to 30 minutes uh, you're going to want to keep an eye uh, depending on how big your pot is I ruined one pot uh, where I had boiled off the water and there was no water in there, completely ruined the pot. So uh, I, the pot that I'm using now is large enough that, and I fill it up high enough that I don't need to replace any water uh, throughout that process, but you might want to uh, look at that. 
So 20 to 30 minutes, what you wanna do is, the way you can check if they're done, you wanna be able to pull on that leaf and it should come off fairly easy. Uh, it doesn't need to just come off, you know, like butter, but it, it uh, you know, should come off fairly easy. And then you know that your artichokes are done. So then how on earth do you eat the thing? Well, um, you eat the leaves. There's some, when you peel off a leaf, it's going to have a little bit of that uh, hearty meat on the end of it. And uh, what I like to do and what I like to eat the artichoke with is I create two different kind of serving dishes. One is just simply a glass bowl uh, with some melted butter. Stick it in the microwave, hit, use the melt button thing and uh, melt some butter and just dip that, uh, pull off a leaf, dip the end in butter and then stick it in your mouth and just use your teeth to scrape off the meat on the end of the leaf. Delicious. Uh, the other thing that's really good is um, taking some mayonnaise uh, and squirt a little bit of lemon juice in there, mix it all up, and dip the leaf in that. Same thing, stick in your mouth, scrape off that meat with the, the front of your teeth, the bottom of your teeth. So, so good. Uh, and so satisfying is you go around, you just eat, eat, eat all these wonderful leaves. And uh, so that's part one, okay? Artichoke has many layers, kind of like an onion, okay? But uh, more delicious. Uh, so you're going to eat the leaves as you go around. You're just going to keep eating. At one po at some point, the leaves are going to become very, very uh, thin. And uh, you're not really going to be able to eat much off of them. So you get to a point where you're, you're kind of done. At that point, you're going to pull off all the remaining leaves. And then you're going to be left with what we call the choke part. Okay, uh, And that stuff, if you were to try to eat it would make you choke because it's like eating hair, uh, which we all know is terrible. Um, so you don't want to eat the hairy uh, part of the artichoke. So we need to clean it. So there's different ways you can do that. Uh, you can kind of, because it is attached on top there, you can use a knife and go around and kind of cut off that art the choke part of it. You can pull it out. Um, but a secret for you. Now, many of you may not have this either, but uh, these are wonderful things called grapefruit spoons. Okay, you'll see this is it's a spoon with a serrated edge on it. Okay. Very, very useful for eating grapefruit. You just stick it in there, pull it out, mm, delicious. Well, you can also use this to easily clean out uh, the choke for an artichoke. So you're just gonna kind of stick it down in there, kind of follow along where the actual meat, uh, a heart, uh, the meaty part of the heart is uh, above the choke. And you get down in there, and then all you have to do is take your serrated grapefruit spoon, and you just 